Northern Nigeria today is under siege. In the northwest are bandits, in the north central are headsmen, and in the northeast are terrorist insurgents. There are lessons you should learn from tragedy. And those lessons is to free yourself from the culture of psychophancy. Free yourself from subservience. Free yourself from worshipping leaders who have failed. Free yourself from the bondage of your weaknesses. Free yourself from yourself. If the federal government is paying attention to Kasana State, it is because the governor of Kasana State speaks the truth to power. By telling the president and the nation that his state is under siege of bandits and killers. If the federal government is responsive to Zamfara State, it is because the elected people in Zamfara State take every opportunity to speak the truth to the president and the presidency. If you have leaders from your state who will visit the villa every day, every second, and every hour, and tell the president that it is all well, it is all fine, and it's all good. How can the president know? If you have leaders who will attack and criticize Sheh Husani for speaking up and standing for you, who is going to listen to you? I think it is high time that people in the north should sit down and know what it should do with the opportunity of political power on its own hands. You cannot have a president who is from the north, service chiefs who are from the north, head of school agencies who are from the north, and the north becoming one of the most insecure, unprotected, and dangerous territory on this earth. I have less than two months to leave this seat. But one thing I assure you is that nothing is going to silence me in the defense of truth and justice. Your traditional rulers must learn to speak truth to power. Your religious leaders must learn to speak truth to power. You must learn the culture and tradition of objection, of non-compromise, and of protest in the defense of your rights. You have seen the situation you have found yourself. Children have been killed. Women have been kidnapped, killed, and sometimes raped. Farmers have been driven out of their farmlands. You have been pressed and extorted to pay millions of naira as ransom to kidnappers every day. And your leaders are saying it's all fine and good. Who is going to listen to you? <laughs>